3D printers involve a lot of wire and electrical connections. Wires get hot and moved around, so make sure you're properly connecting each stripped wire so as to prevent a short circuit. We'll use a combination of an Arduino Omega 2560 and a RAMPS 1.4 board to connect most of the components. This combination is widely used in 3D printers and works well, except for its heat bed built-in MOSFET, which is known for blowing up under stress. We don't want any of our precious electronic components exploding, so we'll add an external solid state MOSFET to do the heavy lifting for the heat bed. Firstly, add the RAMPS 1.4 to the Arduino Omega 2560. The tide should be fit and none of the pins in the RAMPS 1.4 should be bent. Think of the Arduino as the brains and the RAMPS as the muscle. This built sandwich will make the whole of it. Pololu A4988 will be used for the XYZ motors and extruder. This stepper motor drivers come with a heat sink and a potentiometer. If the tension is set too high, they burn up and will have to be replaced. So my advice is to leave this potentiometer untouched unless the motor starts behaving unexpectedly. Remove the 3M stickers from the heat sink and place them on top of the chip on each driver. Place the drivers in the X, Y and Z slot and in the E0 slot. The potentiometers should be facing the opposite side of the big yellow fuses. Now place the board in the electronic box. We'll use the popular full graphics display that comes with two sets of cables and an adapter for the RAMPS 1.4. Connect the adapter to the RAMPS board and pass the cables through the electronic box side opening, connecting them to the LCD display. The label EXP1 and EXP2 should match the markings on the display and the RAMPS. End stops are the elements that will translate digital coordinates into the real world. They will tell your printer when it has reached its maximum or minimum points and should stop moving. They come in play during homing, the process through which the printer moves to its furthest point away from the bed. End stop can be mechanical or optical. We'll use the mechanical ones. It should be noted that these mechanical end stops may come wired in different directions. Check the three end stops and make sure all of them have the same orientation for the metal switch. We need to be sure that we're not making any mistakes while connecting them. If we connect them upside down, they will irreversibly blow up your 5 volt voltage regulator rendering the Arduino Omega useless. We don't want that. First thing we need to know about end stops and delta printers is that they are connected to the max pins. This way the printer knows when each tower has reached a maximum height. The minimum pins will remain unused. We will let our printer know when it has reached its minimum height by calibrating the set height further on. Connection wise, they have three cables, ground, 5 volt and signal. Be sure that the top cable on your end stop is facing the inside of the ramps when connected and that the bottom cable is facing the outside. Again, this is very important for not damaging your Arduino Omega and end stops are the number one cause of burnt motherboards. Though it may be rare manufacturers can wire end stops differently. Always check the metal switch is drawing a descending diagonal line from the right to left. If the orientation is reversed, the cables should be reversed as well in the ramps. Connect all three end stops and tidy up the cables with tape 
or zip ties so as not to leave any hanging tables that might get tangled up with the carriages. Usually the provided cable length will be enough for the three end stops.